Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going into Premiere Pro and we're going to be removing background noise in our video and also doing a couple things to improve our audio as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this is me talking with background noise. Okay guys, so yeah, we just got done playing the clip with me talking with background noise. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and remove the background noise. So the first thing you wanna do is hit Shift 7 to open up the effects panel. Okay, once you get the effects panel open, you're gonna head over to here and you're basically gonna type in denoise in the search Okay, so it should come up right here. Click on that and you basically just want to drag it down and drop it into your um, audio clip. Okay, once you dropped it into your audio clip, you want to hit shift five to open up effects control panel. Okay, once you open that, scroll down to audio and you're gonna see it right here. It says denoise. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna go down to custom setup and you wanna click edit and you get this pop-up window that opens and it automatically defaults to, um, it automatically defaults to 40% is what I'm trying to say. And the more you move it to the left all the way to zero, it basically introduces all the background noise that's in your audio clip. And when you move it to the right, you're actually removing noise, but you want you don't want to go too crazy with this thing, you know, because I found that once you pass 50%, it starts to kind of mess your voice up. It distorts it a little bit and you don't want that. So... I'm pretty much going to keep it right here at actually we'll put it at 40% because my room is pretty good as far as background noise. I got sound dampening in here big time, so it's not really getting much background noise. So yeah, let's go ahead and um, play it right now and let's see how it sounds. Okay, this is me talking with the background noise removed. Okay, see, I don't like that because my voice is sounding kind of distorted. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and um, bring this down to, um, let's do, I think it's like at 30 right now. Let's do 20%. So I'm going to leave it here at 20% and let's go ahead and play this audio clip again. Okay, this is me talking with the background noise removed. Okay, that sounds pretty good right there. So we're basically gonna stick with that. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at a couple other things where we can actually edit our audio. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open up the effects panel again. So we're gonna press shift seven. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and basically we're going to type in parametric equalizer. Okay, so it shows up right here. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna drag and drop it down into your um, audio clip. So we're gonna do it to this one right here. So we'll go ahead and drop it down. And then we're gonna press shift five to open up effect controls. and scroll down to audio and you'll see it right here, parametric, parametric equalizer. So go ahead and hit edit, open that up. And this is what you get right here. So I'm not gonna pretty much go into much detail with this. Um, this is just something that you can take a look at, you know, and 
see how you can um, enhance your audio. You got presets up here. You know, I usually use vocal enhancer, but there's a couple other things in here, all kinds of different settings that you can fiddle around with. So the next one we're gonna do is, um, let's type in um, multiband compressor. Okay, so it's right here. So basically you're just gonna drag and drop it down into your audio clip and it should open up in effect controls right here, multiband compressor. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit edit here and this is what you get. You get this pop-up window. And again, you have a bunch of presets that you can experiment with. Again, it all depends on what kind of audio you're trying to edit. You know, everybody's voice is different. So this is gonna vary with person to person. Okay, so I'm not gonna go too much detail in this. I'm just pretty much showing you, you know, things that you can actually look at to improve your audio. Okay, so we're gonna check out a couple more. Um, we got de so let's go ahead and type in de -esser. Okay, so de right here. Basically gonna drag this down, down into our audio clip again. And it should appear here in effect controls panel. So we got de right here. So we're gonna go ahead and click edit. You get another pop-up window and has a slider and everything. So we're not gonna go much detail in this. You know, we got a bunch of presets as well. And let's check out one more dynamic processing so we'll try that one okay so it appears right here so basically same same deal drag it and drop it down so right here you got dynamic processing hit edit and you get this little graph here so you can pretty much make adjustments right here or you can use the presets you know they have right here so you can actually change your audio doing that you know so so yeah that's pretty much it guys for this video if you found this video helpful if you have any questions comment down below and i'll be sure to answer your questions